Hi, my name is uh, Christina Davidson, and I have decided that I'm going to share my experience with my healing journey with the world so that other people that might be going through the same thing can see the steps that I'm following in order to hopefully achieve wellness. I am at the height of feeling bad um, health-wise um, in my life. I have been kind of on a journey for the past two years trying to heal myself or, you know, go to doctors, get prescription medications, eat healthy, do whatever it takes in order to be healthy. And no, no matter what I've done up to this point, I do it to the T and I seem to be getting sicker and sicker every day. I'm, and that's what I told this um, dentist today is that I've never eaten healthier in my life and done healthier things for myself as I am doing now and I've never felt worse in my life. <laughs> so um, as you can hear, which is why I wanted to start doing the videos today, um, I have really horrible sinus infection and the sinus infection has been there for around two years now, if not longer. And uh, I went to the general doctor, did the whole usual, got antibiotics, got z pack, did all that, used inhalers <clears throat> because I also, it goes down into your lungs and so I was having horrible wheezing from like asthmatic symptoms. The breathing's horrible. The lungs are full of crap. Always coughing. Sound and sound like I have. I it, it's gotten better since I've started eating healthier, like really healthy. But it's still there. It's um. I uh, yeah. I done the nasal inhalers, nasal steroids, uh, breathing inhalers. I've done everything that I can possibly do. <clears throat> I've gone and gotten tested for allergies. I've encased my bed, encased my pillows, um, kicked my dogs out of the bedroom, <laughs> um, air purifiers everywhere, using only products that have like no um, fragrance, stopped using my um, perfumes. I mean, using just absolutely the most basic stuff I can find on my skin, my hair, my body, like just an unrealistic amount of changes that I've made to my life. I basically eat only things that are on a very specific diet that is only like healthy fruits, vegetables, minimal meat, and I'm still having these issues. <clears throat> so saw a documentary yesterday that was called Root Cause and it talks about how you well because I went to another doctor for the umpteenth time because I'm not going to give up on trying to be healthy a friend of mine told me to go to this holistic doctor he asked me if I have any root canals that was like the first question he asked me not anything about my sinuses or anything like that he asked me if I have root canals and I was like I do actually have four root canals on the left side. Oh my gosh, I'm just making the connection right now. <laughs> left side here. And I've also had all my wisdom teeth taken out. Well, guess what is the worst side of my sinuses? It's over here and it never clears up. And I just put that connection together. I have four root canal teeth back here and two wisdom teeth that were taken out. And in this documentary, he told me to watch Root Cause, it tells you that root canals are basically a way, it's just like a breeding ground for bacteria in your gums. They drill out the teeth <clears throat> and they stuff it with this stuff, but your teeth actually have these little tubules in, in the leftover tooth, the dead tooth, where bacteria can actually start growing inside of these hollowed out teeth. And so over time, 
your immune system is like fighting it off so you don't feel that bad for a while but after so long the infection gets to be so bad that your your immune system can't fight it off any longer and that's how you end up with all these chronic illnesses and i just made that connection because this side is always worse in my sinuses and but i do have also if you have wisdom teeth taken out <clears throat> which i've had them all of those done <clears throat> See, this is my life, constant like mucus, it's horrible. So if you have had your wisdom teeth taken out, according to this documentary, if that is not cleaned out properly, then, and they can just, you know, it, they seal over it or they sew it up back there, but then you can end up with these pockets back there also that can become infected in your jaw, which also causes more illness because you're basically walking around with an infected jaw. And um, anyways, I just saw this yesterday, this movie, this documentary. I think it's an incredible service to the world at large about how dangerous root canals can actually be for everyone's health and improperly done wisdom teeth. So I looked online today Today's one day since I watched the documentary. <clears throat> I don't see anybody out there that is posting their experience as far as having watched the documentary and then going and having their root canal teeth removed and replaced. Um, I haven't seen anybody that's actually posted their experience and I wish that I would have. So I figure I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> chronicle my experience so that anyone else that happens to see the documentaries, which has been out since 2018, um, and they, they are concerned and they are having health problems like I am, um, that they can go and watch my videos and see if the action that I take, which I'm terrified about doing it, but this is way worse living my life like this and being in this chronic state of being sinus problems, lung problems, fatigue, just unhappiness, like, cause I just don't feel good all the time. So I'm hoping that I'm able to fix the problem by having it, these teeth checked out next week. I got an appointment next week with what's called a holistic dentist. And these dentists, they do not do root canals because they recognize how bad it is for the human body. And so I have an appointment to go get this particular scan done. It's like $300 for this scan. It's called a 3D cone scan. And they talk about it in the documentary. <clears throat> and it gets a 3D view of the tooth and the gums so they can see if there actually is an infection in there. And then you can know definitively if this is your problem and then you take the next step and you have the teeth taken out and the roots. And then they, t they send the roots and the teeth to a place to test and see what kind of toxins, what kind of bacteria you've been walking around with all these years so that you can actually understand why you've been sick. So, um, I'm very excited that I came across this documentary. I'm very excited that there's someone here. I live downtown San Antonio. Um, I feel very grateful and excited that I found a doctor here in San Antonio that actually um, follows the protocols of the dentists in the documentary. <clears throat> And I'm gonna go next week and get the scan and then we'll come up with a game plan and see if this is the next step we have to take. And I will take all of you along with me. And it is my hope and my wish that at the end of this journey that I'm starting today, that I finally regain my health and my life back and my happiness and my joy and get to enjoy life again and not constantly be trying to figure out what is wrong with me. So I will keep everyone posted as to my progress and 
yeah, if you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them. Just, just uh, comment and try to be nice because I know on YouTube sometimes people aren't very nice, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm I'm doing this so that other people can watch my journey, watch my steps, and um, possibly see a way to becoming healthier if they have had root canal teeth that um, might be causing their health problems. So, all right, see you soon.